can I record the end of season video, the cup final, be successful before my daughter wakes up from a nap? That's the challenge we're going to do in today's video. <laughs> now, if you are new around here, make sure you do go down and hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you for joining me. I'm not sure if this is one of the last videos you'll see in the old apartment because we are in the middle of trying to fix a house and we're going to view it tomorrow. But this video is going out a month after I'm recording it. There's a chance we've moved. There's a chance there's other videos on the channel where we're in the new apartment. The world's crazy. The world is crazy. <laughs> Okay, so the season is over. You can see the fixtures here. It's not been an unbelievable end to the season. It's not been a a shocking good one. It's not. It's just up and down, up and down. So we still played Lillstrom in the semi-finals of the cup. We got three-two victory in extra time. So Bjorgulsson and Shield scored against former clubs before Shelland got the win on the hundred and fourteenth minute. You saw, by the way, we scored in the ninety-fifth minute to take it extra time. Before going into league games, first off against Odds, who we played today, and we lost 1-0. Then Valarenga, where we lost 3-1. They are one of the best teams in the league. Dan Finch, Patreon member, scoring in that goal in that game. We then played Ulkisse and got a one all draw before beating Hamkam 3-1, with Seam, Helberg and Strimman on the score sheet. We then played Flora and got a one all draw before defeat away to Mulder. Before victory over KFU and Oslo with Castell and Schellen scoring before defeat to champions, Lillstrom. But then we hit November where we'd looked very good. Beating Sogendal 1-0 and beating Birda Glimp 3-1. Before draws against Rothos and Sanezulf with Castell scoring in the both. Those end our season in 8th place. So 1-10, drew 11, lost 9. So better record than last season. By three games, we lost less than last season. I've got to be pleased with that. 41 points. Seven points from Europe. And what was it? 12 points from relegation playoffs. Where, by the way, KFU and Oslo won the first leg 5-2. So they are probably staying in the top flight. But the victory today in the cup final would see us win our first trophy with Rosenborg. But also would see us qualify for Europe for the 55-56 calendar in Europe, which is something quite exciting. So let's get into the live comp first, then we can recap how our squad is looking. So first off, we have an injury. The Femst Sorry, suspension. So Femstab's coming in. So we're going to be going Ingebertsen, Femstead, Shield, Figaro and Hansen. Now, can Hansen come out maybe for Martinez, actually? Yeah. A um, bit more solid there in defence. Uh, Torres, maybe out for Nisim. I've been rotating a bit. Pereira and um, Shelland, Berlinger, Torreson and Castell as a front three. On the bench, we have Finchy, Kay, Same, Hansen, Trosseth, Torres, Strumman, Helberg and Schulist. Do we, have a, we have a good squad. We do have a good squad. Let's um, get into this, shall we? It's a cup final. It's a chance to win our first silverware as manager of Rosenborg. And they are in good form. Four wins in the last five. They're playing a 4-4-2. So we should be able to control the middle a little bit. Um, the fans deserve a trophy. They have not won this trophy since 2018. And we are now in 2054. So... It's a big game. The corner here for odds goes back post. But Figaro wins it. Martinez blocks him off. He gets a bicycle kick in straight into the keeper's hands. We are eight minutes in. I'm just going to encourage. One shot each at the minute. They've had a little bit more possession. but we, We're not a possession-based side at the minute. I would like us to hold that ball a little bit more as the seasons roll on with this club. But for now, we're not really able to do that too well. But a throwing in their own half for odds. They do bring the ball towards the halfway line. But we do pressure them back. But they do still break the press and get into our half now. Middle of the park, go forward to their attacking midfielder who drives, strikes in and hits the crossbar and goes over. So we're 25 minutes in now. Still nothing really happening for us. So I'm going to fire us up. 
We now have a highlight, but we literally on our goal line. So Femstead, our right back, goes all the way across. Really bad ball. And we it's a penalty. Oh my days, we gave a penalty away. And that all comes from our right back trying a cross field ball at the worst time and the worst position possible. Come on. Couldn't demand more. They do have a goal kick. Can we win the first ball here? We don't. Second ball, no as well. Third ball, yes. Right, Martinez to Nisreen to Pereira now on the attack. Berlinga, good first touch. Opens it out. Good goes past one. Oh. Good effort from Berlinga there. Straight past his man really easily. Still 1 0 to odds. We play a quick free kick. Rebounds around Shield with the header. Is he on side? That's what I'm unsure about. But he knocks it away. And it looks like it's going to be given. We take a quick free kick here. It looks like as soon as that ball is down, look there. Pew lining ready. We put in. Castell with the. The rise, but it's actually headed from their play. That's why he's on side. And then Shield is there to tuck it in. And it's 1-1. One, one. I'm going to fire us up again with five minutes of the first half to go. Another goal kick from them. We win the first ball. But not the second. By right, Fritton forward for them. Pereira intercepts. Denise Veen goes forward to Belinga. Forward to Castell. Good football. Oh, that's a bad pass. That's a bad pass, Bill. It's our mistake. Our mistakes are what are costing us. Who won the odds? The 41st minute goal there from Carlson for odds. Ball club. Okay. So odds are winning 2-1. I'm going to say, what was that? Get your act together. Come on. Step up, please. Please step up. Just thinking maybe on the hour we make some changes. do we'll fire up. Give them five minutes to do something. We have had more shots. We are looking better than them. We're going to go attacking and just make sure we are playing more direct now. So Castell, I'm going to take off four. I think we're going to go Finchy. And I'm going to bring on Hansen for Martinez because he's a little bit more offensive. And Torres for Nisveen, who's just not having a good game, to be honest. And also, I think, we're going to bring off Shelland, who's on a yellow, for Strimman. And we're going to go with both our centre mids on attack. And both of them can play attack midfield or striker. So I'm hoping if they get a chance, they will take it. As I'm talking, odds don't go 3-1 up. I thought they were going to go 3-1 up. Maybe now. Maybe now. Nope, didn't happen. I have no faith in this team defensively. Um, it's impressive that we made it to a cup final. 100%. But now we are here, I would like us to take this trophy home, please. Whoever gets away, right, Fremstead wins it. He kicks it to literally nobody. Can we, um... Please let me click demand more, because that's what I want to do. I want to demand more from this team. Right, Fremstead. He's having a bad game. He's having a bad game of right back. This is what motivates me to maybe look for a new right back so we have a couple of options. It goes 3 1. It's down that side again. He's playing a 6.5, but honestly, I think every mistake we've witnessed has been from him. We'll go very attacking. Um, we'll throw the kitchen sink, but there's. Basically, we outclassed. Basically, we've been outclassed. Um, odds are a stronger side than us. Odds are more established than us. As we do get one back, we do get one back. I just think if we can, if we can sneak this in next time, I'll be blown away. I will be blown away. I just feel like we maybe have got to the cup final one season too early. I think maybe if we make it there next season, we can we can push for it. But I just think we're maybe a year too early. The minute that's disappointing. Yeah, I'm not watching a different team lift a trophy. Um, 
just say uh, disappointed miss out on trophy. Basic alley. Basic alley. Um, we are in the middle of trying to sell gold Branson, by the way, um, due to the fact of him being a bit of a prick. So, 8th place in the league. 8th eighth, eighth place in the league. The final of the cup. It is very upsetting when you go to competition history there. Runners up 2054. It's the first time they've reached the cup final since 2018. They've not won the league since 2029. So... It's going to be like 26, 27 years of hurt by the time we win the league, in my opinion, because I think we're a couple of years away from knocking on the door of that. I mean, see here, we've won the Under-19 Cup again, so the league again. So let's go and investigate that a little bit more for you. So we won that, and as you can see here, we have won qualification to the top flight after a 3-1 victory over Jelisovan. Um, Shanka with 51 goals this season, 66 in all competitions. I mean, if he can score that many goals when he steps up to the first team, we have an absolute talent on our hands, no question about it. In terms of our B team, we were crowned league champions. You can see 66 points, 121, drew three, lost two. Um, Seam with 29 goals for the B team. So he is going to play for the B team next year again as well. I think another year at the third level would be useful to see how he develops. Um, he's definitely going to be a very, very good striker though. He is wanted by Sarsborg on loan, but we can definitely hold them off. Kroglund, second top goal scorer was 16 as well, had a decent season, 21 years old. We did secure him on a new deal just because he's a fairly talented player. Um, our B team is not full of depth. Four players. Most of our B team has come from our youth team, which I did say I wanted. I wanted players who have talent like this guy. I wanted them to be playing for our B team. Developing year by year by getting senior men's football. And that's what they are doing for the B team. Now, financially, we've ended the season with 2.6 million in the bank. If we go to the income side of things. You can see players sold 4.3 million. Gage receipts are 4 million. Sponsorship 1.9 and 1.6 million from um, prize money. Season tickets are 1.1. Expenditure wise throughout the season, then. So, our biggest expenditure was tax at 3 million. 1.5 for the youth setup, 1.4 for staff wages. Players' wages are 1.2. Sorry, 1.183 so far this season. Um, but look across from the season before, then. Slightly more on players' wages, but we have progressed. Cup final, 8th in the league. I'm happy. Okay. Match expenses, about the same. Staff wages, look at that. 1.4 million less on staff wages this year compared to last year. Now, I did say we had to get staff wages down. We just had to do it. And that's what we've done. So, in a rebuild, for me, for me, playing... These realistic rebuilds is what I like to pride myself on. You do it step by step. And over the last 12 months, the biggest focus of all was cutting that staff wages from nearly 3 million a year. We've cut down to 1.5 million a year. I think it might go down again to about 1.3 for next season, which it's fantastic to see that we can cut so much so quickly. And then look at investing that back into the squad. The fact that last season we made 2.3 million. This season we looked at making 1.9. It's probably going to be about, say, 1.5 by the time it ticks over. It's profit. That tells me that over the winter, I could potentially spend a million. I could potentially spend 1 million and be confident that over the next year's books, we will still make Office. And I think that is something we've got to take into account. Now, in terms of the squad, then, most appearances for the season was our goalkeeper, Inga Bertson, with 37. Second was Shield, with 33 starts, two sub appearances, being very, very solid. Only 27 years old, was with us at Eggerson, with us at Lilstrom, now with us here. Pereiro's 32 games, Shellan with 28, Berlinga with 27. Top goal scorer for the season was Castell. With 15 goals in 18 starts, 7 for Shellan, Strummer with 6, Finchie with 5, 
Seam with four, Belinga with four, and also Shield with four. In terms of assists, eight for Belinga and Pereira, Gulbratson with seven, Torreson with five, Shelland, Hansen, Castell, Shield, Seam, and then quite a few people on one. When I look at the squad, when I look at the squad, especially after that cup final, especially after that cup final, we need a new right back. We need a new right back. I think we need a first choice left back and Adrian Martinez, Adrian Martinez becomes more of a rotation of right back and left back. Honestly, I think that's his position. Right back, left back, rotational option is where I think he would be best. And centre back. But a first choice attacking left back and a new right back. Defence midfield, I think we're good. We have Torres, we have Nisveen, and we also have Trosseth, Tronseth, who is developing as well. Um, centre mid, I think we maybe need new attacking centre mid. I'm not sure. S S Santiago Pereira has been okay. He has been okay, so maybe he needs another season to continue to develop and learn that position. And when you look on the wings, Belinga on the right wing, his first season at the club after costing us 50k, has been fantastic. Also called up to the Czech Republic under 21s. Torres on the left wing, I do just think another year older, another step forward could continue to develop. Now, up front is the issue. Castell picked up 15 goals, okay? I'm not sure on him. I'm really not. I think he deserves another season. With Seam and Finch coming through as well, it just gives them another year to develop, maybe. Because Castell is a goal scorer now, where I think they are goal scorers in the future, even though they are all around the same age. I think we're in a good position. I think we have a couple of positions we want to improve over the winter. But I think all in all, in general, we're quite decent and quite strong. And I'm quite pleased with how the squad as a whole and the club as a whole is looking and going compared to when we first took over to now. I think we can only take positive from where this club was two and a half years ago to where they are now, reaching a cup final, first cup final since 19, 18, 2019, 18, can't remember now. But either way, we're developing them very, very well. I'm excited for this winter window. I think this winter could be a big one for the club as a whole. I think a couple of signings could take us to that next level and really knock on the door of European football next year. So we'll see how we can do there. Join me in the next video where we will look at the youth intake and our winter transfers and get the season on the way. We will live come the first game of next season. I've been Paul, also known as Northman. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next time.